Welcome, Leo Singles. Doing the singles read here, Meet the Soulmate. This is for the first half of October. Uh, I need my glasses, these big old cards. I'm um, using the Illuminated Tarot deck here. And um, this is a little different reading. It's always positive because I'm simply asking Spirit, you know, who is the right one for you? Who is the soulmate you need now? I think relationships help primarily how we do our work here. It's a relationship oriented uh, soul work program. <laughs> so this is the one that's right for you, not your next ex problem, next ex husband, next ex wife. Yeah. So that their board's always positive because we're asking that kind of question. I also have the heart spread and also remind you on Wednesdays always Leo Virgo Day. So for singles, anything I do that's astrologically related, it'll be on Wednesdays. Uh, uh, so if you uh, uh, do find yourself with someone on your mind, check out the heart spread. And check out the Soul Family Read to Do Every Day. It's a short uh, collective read for whoever resonates. Um, think Terrence McKenna, find the others. So, Three of Pentacles. We're going to start with their emotional nature. Uh, Three of Pentacles. A little bit at the top, a card pull is going to be the conscious energy. Three of uh, cups in the emotional uh, energy. Two threes, that's very interesting. And now we're going to, I'll come back to it. We're going to look at their intellectual energy, eight of wands. Again, more in the conscious. And uh, hair font in the unconscious position. Um very dynamic person here um very dynamic um these threes like personal energy and the eight is personal energy um they have a very strong got to be a fire sign sun with the eight of wands a uh, very strong personality um more so than i've seen in these readings before hold, hold on a minute uh ice lime water stevia there's only way to survive Cancun, Mexico. It's actually not bad. It's a little warm. So this person's going to stand out. You know, it's not a wildfire. This uh, someone is going to be uh, a big smile, uh, outgoing, um, light up a room uh, type of energy here. Um, I swear, you know, uh, comes to mind like a Leo. Could be another Leo. So let's look now. This is at their sexual and relationship energy. And we have the Queen of Pentacles over the Knight of Pentacles. I get balance with them too, though. Look, the Knight and the Queen of Pentacles both here. The Three of Pentacles in the mental aspects, very balanced. I'm, I'm not pulling a moon, but if I don't, I don't. I usually do. Knight of Swords here. This is in their Lifestyle Core Values column. Underneath of that, the devil. Don't let the cards throw you. There's such a different reading here. Remember, this is your person. I just want to try to describe them, sit down, get to know them a little bit, so that when you meet them, because you don't know this person yet, you're going to be like, holy moly, that's the dude that Dave was talking about on Dave's Guy's Tarot the other day. Uh, when I watch the singles reading, hopefully, that's what I'm shooting for with this reading. So please get back to me next week when you hook up with this man, this woman. Um, that's how it works. I usually don't clarify these or, or pay much attention to the bottom of the deck. So, first half of October energy. I try to pick up childhood stories too. For this person, they're going to have two siblings. I'm going to go pretty strong with that because there's three here. Uh, and uh, what's that amazing TV? This is us. Uh, this is us. I comes to mind. Um, if you, if what a, a beautiful, beautiful series. If you haven't watched it, I don't. Maybe it's not on Netflix, but whatever you got to do, um, it's so uplifting and so real. But I get that kind of vibe. Uh, the three amigos uh, as they grew up. So that's a story they'll tell you. And then I probably will be um, that even today, no matter their age. I don't see them being particularly young. Um, they 
are still have a close relationship with their siblings. So, you know, they may go on vacations together. This may come up, you know, hey, let me show you these pictures. And you're like, uh, who's that dude? Who's that woman? Oh, that's my brother. That's my sister. You know, we go there a lot um, in the summer, whatever type of energy. Um, but I feel like they would have a, ma a water moon. And however their moon is, it's well placed. So uh, cancer comes to mind. Um, because I think they're really balanced, like emotionally. Um, so they may have a cancer moon that's like trying to Saturn or something, like really close trying, or sextile, something that's a very harmonious energy. Um, you know, um, and maybe the moon is in an earth house. Uh, so there's someone that's very solid, like they're very outgoing and fun, but they're they're not. There's not drama about them. It's not like Leo drama. Uh, -uh. uh it's just outgoing and fun energy, um, and they don't carry a lot of negative energy. Um, in fact, I think that would be a characteristic of them. You get to know them a little bit, and so probably they're not gonna tell you stories about bad exes and stuff. They just throw energy off of them like uh, water off a duck. Like if it isn't like uh, helpful to them. You know, three's uh, very active, uh, um, being strong, um, activity, um, and combining the pinnacles with the cups here. There's nothing about third parties in, in this read, um, other than, you know, emotionally, um, they may need uh, other people, you know, in their lives, um, emotionally. And like the moon is all about what we need to feel secure in ourselves, and um, they may like cooperation with other people that might be an element of it too um and so they might have like this leo energy uh, but they're they're a leo that wants to cooperate you know more than dominate let's put it that way and then with the hair font down here at the core i, I got a feeling they would be, be a religious person a spiritual person um there could be a traditionalist about them uh, element. And so, you know, they might be into the, uh, their uh, religion of their um, childhood, um, whatever that was, um, you know, Christianity, uh, Buddhism. Um, but it would be something to be very important to them. And probably the way their mind works is, and again, it's kind of that energy of throwing off things. It's like with the hair font, um, their mind is very focused and, and with the eight of wands is very strong and they have powerful intellectual curiosity. You know, if I saw fire over here, I think Sag Moon, but they have that kind of intellectual, could be a Sag, you know, I'm going with Leo right now. Um, <clears throat> but they, they don't uh, chat, they don't small talk, that's what I want to say. Their mind is always on something higher, something higher. Um, and so they, they really don't care to talk about uh, the, the, probably the things of the day. So if you're out with them and you're like, hey, did you hear about the Britney Spears or the whatever? Um, maybe like, mm, no, you know, what, what happened? And, you know, but if you want to talk to them about uh, the impact uh, of 21st century culture on traditional religions or uh, something spiritual or deep or meaningful, you know, I think they would really be down for that kind of conversation. And it kind of gives me the feeling that that's the kind of thing they're going to move towards uh, in, like in their work because that's where their interest is. So they would not probably be happy working a nine to five job, not to disparage any job, um, if it didn't involve them being able to express this. It, it's kind of like a religious energy. Uh, belief energy it sure does sound like Sag, I know. Um, but maybe they have a, a Leo Sun, maybe it's in the ninth house, conjunct Jupiter. <laughs> That's why astrology uh, gets screwed because people go, Well, I'm a Leo, but I'm not this like a Leo supposed to be. Mm, well, the Sun's just one planet, one point, big one. <laughs> I'll give you that. So Trying to think of the stories she'll tell other than about, like, I think they're going to have many stories probably about their childhood with their siblings. I think they have a very happy childhood. That's something in itself. That eliminates a lot. I mean, it'd be like, 
hi, you know, you can get that out of a text. Oh, I'm pretty happy childhood, you know. People say that sometimes, not exactly the case. As an astrologer, when you get into it, uh, as far as things influencing us, uh, it doesn't, uh, just because you weren't beaten up or abandoned doesn't mean it was exactly um, helpful. Um, but that's going to tell you something. So you're probably going to want to talk about the deep things, you know, that kind of thing. Um, not just not a shallow person. There's there's a, there's a lot of depth to them. There's no I don't think any shallowness to them. Um, sexually, now we got to go back to the uh, Leo or Sag. And the Leo's looking better to me because the Queen of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles, it feels more Virgo. So this could be a lot of why they're the way they are. They got the Leo Sun, but they're banging a lot of Virgo energy. Um, they may have Virgo, Venus, and Mars in their chart. So to give you uh, something, what we have now, a Water Moon, probably a Cancer Moon. If not Cancer, then uh, Pisces, not a Scorpio Moon person here. So Cancer, Pisces Moon, uh, Leo Sun, most likely. Um, then that would be a Virgo. You know, it could be a sad sun, not to <laughs> hedge my bets, but it's uh, the energy's similar, and then it would be a Capricorn, Mars, and Venus. So uh, either way there, I feel more like with the Leo energy with this person, though. Also, I think, like, in terms of dealing with them, they're just inspirational, too. They have an inspirational flair about them. And I'm kind of thinking they could be a preacher. They're coming at you, coming at you. And I like to say it's coming right at you. Is in their lifestyle and core values. Um, and um, again, it's the Capricorn energy. But this to me is like, they're not afraid to, they're, they're like, uh, they're on a mission to slay the darkness. I'm not even kidding. That's what I get. Uh, there might be a religious person, you know, a very deeply spiritual person. So um, in terms of love and sex though, um, it's a very grounded energy. Um, I think their Venus is shown here by the Queen of Pentacles, uh, which is um, the Queen of Pentacles here is like the Empress in waiting. You kind of see there's a lot of Venus energy on this um, in the Knight of Pentacles, um, Virgo too, but that's the Mars. Um, so I would say, like, in their actions, they're like Virgos. They're, they're modest. They're outgoing, but they're modest. They're not your Leo that wants to show off and be the center of attention. Um, but they are showing up with this strong energy. Think of the sun. They would kind of light up a room. It's like around this person, people would be hard-pressed to feel bad or negative. Like, most people kind of like this person. They're not a pushy person. They're not selling you or their religion, whatever it is, or their spirituality. Um, they're just sort of exuding it, living it, and kind of glowing. And I think people would just naturally sort of uh, like this person, you know. And if, if you kind of don't like this person, it's like you're just projecting something really bad from yourself, honestly. Um, and then, you know, for what they do with the Knight of Swords over the Devil... I certainly feel like they're, they could be in counseling. Um, they could just be a light worker. They could be a healer. They could be a preacher. They could literally be a preacher. And with the feeling as if, you know, this has become, devil could be old school. Devil. You know, not my cup of tea, but it happens, right? Um, but however they do it, it's very cool. You know, they're not someone that's... Uh, and they're basically all about serving, too. That's a big part of what they do. It's like in love, the way they are towards you, access are as huge with them. It's how they want to love. And it's how they're approaching the world. But their access service is like, uh, in whatever they do for a living, they speak their mind. That's where it comes out. They're really good. <laughs> they're really good. Like, they could be the kind of preacher, like, you go out and you have fun with them. I, I ugh, weird thing in my life, at a time in my life, priests, two priests were my best friends, and we just would hang out, and, you know, um, they were just the coolest guys, and so smart, they both had, like, uh, doctorates in divinity, but, wow, and I would constantly be like, are you sure you're a priest, you just seem so cool, 
Um, and it kind of be that kind of vibe with your person. But then maybe they get up on Sunday morning and they bring it, you know. Get back, devil. Just saying. <laughs>